Hello and welcome to Cruising with Kenyo. Hello and welcome to Cruising with Kenyo. What's up, guys? It's Kenyo, and welcome to this episode of Cruising with Kenyo. We'll be right back after this sponsored segment. Ladies and gentlemen of the whatever, how are you guys doing today? Uh, it's Kenyo, and today I want to talk to you about um, SpaceX and their plans to terraform Mars. Okay. So, um, you know, this is actually also a continuation, because if you remember, in one of my earlier episodes, I said I was going to talk about artificial atmospheres, which I might bring up in this, in this one, um, because I think it's relevant. Artificial atmosphere, terraforming, very much related. Um, and that's kind of the, the, one of the first goals. So SpaceX, though, says that they can make Mars more habitable by, you know, terraforming it. What is terraforming? Terraforming is when you make a planet more like Earth. Um, and, you know, SpaceX is a great company. I like it. I love it, you know. Um, it's doing so much for, just like Elon Musk is doing for electronic, electric vehicles, he's literally doing the same thing for space travel. Innovating, he's making it cool, um, and he's making real products, you know. And so this terraforming stuff is very cool. Now it says they might need 10,000 missiles. 10,000 missiles to terraform. So there's lots of different ways um, that people have proposed terraforming, I'm not sure exactly, you know, what Elon Musk's plan is, um, let me read this little quote, I'm on, it says it's Google, this is a Google, oh, but I think it's Inverse, the blog is called Inverse or something, anyway, so Elon Musk is quoted here, says, if briefly analyzed, certain plans put forward by SpaceX simply cannot be implemented, taking into account their short-term technological developments. For example, for a thermonuclear explosion on Mars, pull one of pl- one of the plans, space, uh, plans of SpaceX to have tangible results, more than 10,000 launch of missiles that can carry the largest payloads um, available, so, basically, you know, he's saying that if they, they want to be able to terraform Earth, that's one of the things that they're looking at, I mean, terraform Mars, let me go ahead and say that I think terraforming is, 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 man, you know, I think it's admirable, I think it's admirable, and I think it's a, it's uh but I think it's kind of impossible, but, I mean, not impossible, okay, it's definitely not impossible, let me go ahead and say that, it's, it's an, it, actually, I don't even think it's that hard, right, I think, um, you know, with, with understanding of human science, and unlimited resources, or a better understanding of how to manipulate resources, we can, we can definitely terraform Mars, I just don't know how necessary it is, you know, and I think, Part of the beauty of Mars is that it is Mars. And I think that once you start terraforming, that's the problem that we're doing on Earth. You know, we're the original terraformers. We're terraforming Earth right now. That's what global warming is. It's it's accidental terraforming. And I just don't think we need to mess with stuff on that scale. What if someone wants to go enjoy the natural beauty of Mars? I don't know if I want to go to Mars after you've launched the 10,000 missiles. I think let's... uh, uh, The good thing is, you know, I think science will... um, Science will catch up with with the the concepts of terraforming before any of this kind of stuff goes down. Um, Because really, I think to create a stable atmosphere, once we really understand, you know, synthesizing um, certain molecules... You know, I actually have... And I, because our atmosphere is essentially, you know, a liquid. It's a liquid that's covering its gases, but gases are liquids, in my opinion. You know, I've just kind of, I've gone and in, I've gone and just combined gases and liquids into one thing, and I just call them all liquids. Um, <clears throat> but um, to me, it's a matter of scale. But anyway, so we got all this gas, we got all this this stuff, you know, air, um, air liquid. 
all over Earth, right? And it protects us from lots of stuff. It's hard to move through it. There's a lot of friction. If you try to move through thousands of miles of something, um, you know, it destroys meteors and stuff. It protects us. And so uh, Mars has no atmosphere, but that's... uh, um, I was watching some stuff with Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's largely because... Mars is, you know, it's so close to the sun, it's getting all these things that are destroying the atmosphere, so even if we did make an atmosphere, it get destroyed again, I don't know if we'll ever have an Earth-like place on Mars, but you know, Mars is kind of beautiful, why don't we just go for building domes, you know, I'm a much larger proponent for micro-atmospheres inside of domes than I am for shifting the atmosphere of a whole planet inside of a solar system that I'm not sure if we completely understand, you know? What if there's one meteor that comes around every 50,000 years and Mars's lack of atmosphere is the only thing protecting us from it? I don't see how that could be possible, but I'm just saying we don't know everything yet. I don't know if we need to go to launching 10,000 missiles. I get it. You know, the good thing about Elon Musk, though, is he opens up these conversations. We can start thinking about it. What if we did want to do the terraforming? You know, how would we go about doing that? I think that's what we get from 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 the Musker on this one and uh, SpaceX. And, you know, I also wonder, we get, what about all the other people? I know he's the CEO of both companies, but I mean... You know, he's spending 80% of his time in one of them. I feel like whoever's second in command of the company that he's not at all the time should be getting a little bit more attention on some of this stuff because they're also approving the $10,000, the the 10,000 missile plan. So who's number two on the 10,000 missile plan? Um, Unless Elon Musk is weird and he just doesn't allow number twos in his company structures. He's like, I make all the decisions. But, um... So, yeah, I'm much more for for artificial atmospheres um, in domes. And I think um, if I had to guess, you know, I think that that's a lot easier to maintain. Um, I think as far as any terraforming, I think if we can learn how to live more harmoniously with uh, the atmosphere ourselves through primarily, I mean, we can do a lot more through tree consumption and then. We just need to do a lot better with energy creation. Let's go Let's go solar, guys. I wish there was a way for me to just go solar. I think, uh, and that's cool, because, you know, Elon Musk has a solar company as well, and he's, and, you know, he's doing a lot of work towards that. But I'm like, they make it a little bit too difficult to just have, like, cool solar. Like, I want $30 worth of solar panels, you know, like, on my car, charging my thing. I think that is the real the real first product. If you want to talk about terraforming solar panels, what Elon Musk is doing with, with, with Solar City is a little bit more um is a little bit more terraforming in the right direction to me than anything else. And you know my dad's into solar too. I can meet y'all in the lobby. Okay. Um never do that again. But um What was I going to say? What was I going to say? Yeah. So, I like the idea of terraforming. Let's not do it with missiles. I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, if I had, if I had uh, the Musker's, the Musker's uh, email, I'd shoot him that right now. But um, that's what I think about it. Um, what do you guys think about it? Don't forget, hit me up. Um, I, I love to know what you guys think. I love feedback feedback me all the way around. I should have said it at the beginning. I'm going to record a little intro to this one. Um, Put it at the beginning where I just tell you how much I want feedback. I love feedback. I want feedback. I want feedback. I like feedback. Send me messages. Comment. Um, Shout out to the people, um, Madeline and Maticus for commenting on YouTube. Um, It's fun chatting. It's fun. um, It's fun getting comments. You know, I, I just saw those comments. I replied to them today. And we were, we were talking about the whole, you know, living, spending $12.5 million a month to live in space. It's the space lease. Anyway, um, talk to you guys soon. Just wanted to tell you, but talk to you about the whole SpaceX thing. Um, tell you what I think about terraforming. The future of terraforming is in sustainable energy creation so that humans can have um, 
a small footprint wherever they go, and then also domes. I think we're going domes. In fact, I'm launching my own dome next year. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure, I'm kind of joking, but then I'm like, you know, a really small, like, microdome would be pretty cool. Anyway, talk to you guys later.